We're here at Bighorn Mountain Axe, in the heart of Sheridan, Wyoming. One of our great state's newest, greatest attractions. We're getting ready to chuck some steel. It's gonna be pretty amazing. Just waiting on our friend Jim Wallenberg, down at Wyoming Office of Tourism. Jim has applied and passed the uh, strenuous application process to be a member of the Backyard Season 2. We're pretty excited to have him. We're gonna test his metal. We're gonna chuck some of our own put my Canadian heritage to the test. And uh, as you can see, I'm stretching out my legs. With axe throwing, you want to save your arms. Five hour drive, better be worth it. Sean. Jim. What's up, man? Hey, welcome to Sheridan. Thank you. That's yeah, good to see you. You too. Hey, are we uh, doing yoga or are we axe throwing? No, actually, athletes stretch. Okay. Before, okay. They, before they check the steel, so. We're just getting ready. Only legs. Only legs. You don't want to burn your arms out. Yep. It's a very strenuous sport. But, uh, you know, we're very excited to have you here. You know, out of the thousands of applicants that applied for season two of The Backyard. Yes. Jim was selected. I am honored. So we are thrilled to have him here. Very good. And, uh, you know, the whole goal of this first, you know, go round in the winter for The Backyard is to find out whether or not the bighorns in the winter are worth it. Sure. I say yes, of course. Sure. I wouldn't be doing my job if I disagreed. That's right. And uh, you know, you're here to really give us an unbiased opinion. Sure. As a Cheyenne resident, member of the Office of Tourism, you're really here to get the brass tacks. So uh, I'm ready to chuck some axes. How about you? Me too. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> all right, it's all down to this. Um, I'm going to work hard to make my fellow Canadians proud, both here in Wyoming and back home. We're all on COVID lockdown right now, so this is uh, a way for them to get in touch with us down here in the South. So here we go. Let's do it. What, uh, what exactly are we doing other than actually? I haven't really told you anything. No, <laughs> no. So we are heading up under the mountains, of course, and we are going to do um, Sheridan Travel and Tourism's first ever backyard winter camping episode. Love it. So I hope to dress warm. Well. Love it. All this right. is all I brought. Is that good? It'll be fine. Yeah, I got these. Um, so we are going to snowshoe in to Sibley Lake. They've got a warming hut up there. Awesome. Very excited about this because the uh, Black Mountain Nordic Club actually has been, uh, go ahead and throw. Okay. So the Black Mountain Nordic Club has been grooming trails up there since 1991. Oh, so wow. very exciting. They do a great job. Um, we're gonna check out what they're doing. We're gonna make it to the warming hut. And when that's all done, we're going to uh, have a little campfire and try and survive the night. Awesome. Yeah, see if we can't find some uh, moose, maybe see some deer. Okay. And uh, just really have a great time and see if it's worth it in the winter. Nice. How far, uh, how far in are we going? Um, well, after that throw, you're doing 10 miles and I'm going two. <laughs> okay, deal. So, yeah, two miles into the warming hut, but the really neat thing about Sibley Lake is there's 15 miles of groomed winter trails up there. Oh, wow. So for Nordic skiers, which, you know, that's a crazy breed of folk, uh, or us regular people who like sure. to snowshoe. Sure. Us normals. Yeah, us normals are going to do too. Well, it was a good match. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad for our first go. You were gracious in defeat, so thank you. Th oh. That's a fist bump. There we go. 2020s. 20, 20 All right, well, this is a good time. This was. I feel ready. I think we're both good to go for I, tomorrow. I've never felt as uh, mountain-esque. We have our training Our done. training was solid. Yep. So all that firewood has no chance. Not a chance. And if we have to um, raise an old-timey house or a barn, I think we're, I think we're ready. We're ready to go. Ready. So Jim's heading off to the incredible Nelson Inn for a good night rest. Then we're going to head off early tomorrow, but not too early. It's cold early and dark. So, we'll, you know, nine-ish, ten, whatever. Works. And we'll head out. We're going to hit Sibley Lake. So uh, we'll catch you on the mountain. Yeah, see you in the morning. Let's get there. They're calling 
for 30 inches of snow up here. 30 inches of snow is what Jeff was saying this morning. That's going to take this... Uh, up from 18. Up from 18. Yeah. It's so take it's not the, like out of the blue. Take the degree of dis something's difficulty. Something's coming. Something's coming. I wonder what that's going to be like if there's 30 inches of snow when we wake up tomorrow. Find out. On top of the feet of snow that's yeah. hit us in the last two days. Yeah. It uh, picked a good day. Picked a good day. <laughs> It's getting the full experience. It's going to get wild. I mean, if you're going to go winter backpacking, why not go at its most extreme? Do it in the elements. Do yep. it in the elements. Yep. <laughs> so do you uh, ever like sit around and think, man, that was a good idea, <laughs> that thing I wanted to do? Until you go to do that thing? Until like this moment right now, you're saying? Until right now. Yeah. 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 Immediately regret signing up. Yeah. I'm asking for a friend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it's about 15 degrees. Uh-huh. But windy. Extremely windy. Um, it's really cold. <laughs> it's extremely cold. Yeah. Yeah. And we're in the parking lot. This is going to be wild. Yeah. It'll be interesting. I've never done anything this extreme in, it's an adventure. in the big horns. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's, it's about finding out whether or not it's worth doing. Exactly. Your mustache is already frozen. Is it? Yeah. It feels feels like it mm -hmm. so that's good that's a good sign yeah, i've uh, i've got two balaclavas and six pair of pants on yep so i'm ready to go let's think, do it yeah let's gear up let's, let's strap it up all right oh my gosh that's extremely heavy how you feeling good it's very heavy yeah yep. two miles of this i got this you got it easy i believe in you okay parking lot right there. yeah oh and where are we going to Warming hut. H. Okay. Well, we are, according to the GPS, 0.6 miles into this journey. About halfway to our about end halfway, point. Halfway, apparently, if we're to believe the According maps. to the map. Yep. But the map seems to have led us in the right direction so, so far. So far, so good. Uh, we are at absolutely spectacular Sibley Lake, witnessing a snow tornado. It, uh, if you can't tell, it's very windy. Yep. Our lips are a little chapped, but... It, uh, it's pretty spectacular down here. We've only seen three other people, three mm -hmm. people on Nordic skis today. Mm -hmm. um, unlikely we'll see too many more. Yeah. I don't think there's like a busy time or a happy hour or anything. I don't think so. There's no bar at the end of this. No, unfortunately not. It's very unfortunate. Yeah. Um, okay, well, should we go? Yeah, want to venture out there? Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's deep. Tougher in the deep snow. Oh, that is deep. I think I'm probably just there and over. Yeah, oh, look at that the drop. I'm gonna do the drop. You wanna do the drop, right? I'm gonna do a kickflip. Okay. Oh! <laughs> That's deep. I, uh, I don't know. Big steps, high steps. I see why it's a drop. High steps. How come you're not sinking as far as me, Jim? <laughs> not sure. I think you just packed more. Jim, Jim Ooh. has found a slightly easier trail. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> get, get to my path. <laughs> That's about 30 inches there. Jim, we here? We're almost here. We made it? We made it. Nice. After many hundreds of miles. A little touch and go there for a bit. Thousands of hours hiking. 
to some of the most treacherous oh, man. conditions. This is cool. This is awesome. This is great. This is an epic, epic warming hut. This is a very impressive warming this is hut. Very cool. This is the. Yeah. This is like the cherry on top from a very fun hike. Yeah, that was a good hike. Yeah. Two miles. Two miles, not bad. Two miles on snowshoes yeah, is bad. tiring. With ridiculous amounts of weight. Got a little hot. A you little had hot. a little tougher haul. It was a yeah, very strong. I do a lot of CrossFit. Yeah. So uh, I hadn't heard that before. Nope. Well, we survived. This is going to be good. This warming hut is pretty amazing. The uh, Nordic Club and the Forest Service do a heck of a job with this place. I'm keeping I've up. Hiked a lot of the trails in the summer, been to the lake a lot of times, but I've never been to this hut. Jeff seems to think that this is something that uh, they take in, take in and out during the summertime, which, you know, Not, we have a slightly so. different opinion of that. But um, this is amazing. It's mm -hmm. going to make for a good night. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get a fire going, get lunch on the go, and we're going to have a good time. Yeah. Rice and chicken. Did you bring three of those? Yeah, uh, I brought two rice, one, two rice. Some kind of weirdness in there. It was boiled. Mm -hmm. Whew. Well, here we go. Storm's coming in. Sean, what's your tent expertise like? Tent expertise? Yeah. Pretty solid at putting yeah. up tents. Yeah. Pretty solid. Doesn't mean that I'm going to survive the night in it. How Just about with uh, frozen fingers? Very, very bad. Yeah. Very bad. Yeah. <laughs> and mittens also. <laughs> are helpful. Well, I'm done. Success. So it looks good. Step one. I want to. I want to see the stars tonight when I'm <laughs> sleeping. All right, now, now we're good to go. We're getting there, Jeff. We are getting there. <laughs> Well, we have some cozy looking accommodations ready to go for tonight, Jeff. What do you think? Turned out pretty good. Turned out pretty good. Jim's struggling a little bit. I can't get this last piece. <laughs> yeah, it can be tough. That's a huge tent. Is that a six person? <laughs> uh, yeah, you said pack for all of us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> When you were applying for the backyard, did you uh, assemble a tent in your demo reel, or is this the first time? Done. See, just like that. It's great job. You Five minutes. Got it. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing the storm didn't come in because now Jeff and Max don't have time. To put their tent <laughs> yes. <on>. Yes. <laughs> hey, looking well, good. That's a nice tent. It's not bad. Yep. Not bad. You better put your fly on though. Yeah. Yeah. I will. Okay. 2017. The last time yeah, that she yeah, today. Yeah. Okay, um, this is a big deal, guys. You know, I think it's gonna um, be fine. For everybody at home, this is absolutely not the way to uh, Correct. store a down sleeping bag. Um, I got a sleeping bag. It's rated to zero, oh, so good. it should be okay. It's like a backpacking compress it down pretty good. Nice. So yeah, right on. Have you used it before? Um, I've used it in the past. Um, I probably haven't really needed it for I don't know, three, four years or so. Okay. Because they have like weird storage instructions, don't they? Like how you have to keep them? I think so, and I'm pretty sure my way of doing it is not the correct way. What way is that? I, like I haven't taken it out of the package since, like, since I repacked it after using it. Like the compression bag? Like the, the stuff sack? Yeah, 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 it's, <laughs> yeah, it's like that. <laughs> Wait, like, so you've stored your sleeping bag? Yeah. Like, compressed? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Which I'm aware that's not the correct way to do it. No, it's not. And I was, and I know that, so I didn't like undo it when I was packing up. Okay. So I'm just gonna deal with it when we get there. So you haven't even like looked at this in four years. No. No. Oh, okay. Maybe three. Three. Yeah. You sure you don't want to sleep in the truck? <laughs> I'll settle up by the fire. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> so yeah, we'll we'll find out. Classic example of what not to do. Total. This is how they show you what not to do. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Jim, I uh And that's a functional sleeping bag, folks. I am a little bit worried for your safety tonight, my friend. Feels alright. There's uh I mean it's starting to puff up a it little feels bit. Feels alright, yeah. That's uh I don't know if, uh, if we've mentioned it yet, but we're expecting 31 inches of snow tonight and yep. temperatures in the low single digits. That's so. okay, this is good to fifteen degrees. That's not at all what you thought it was. Perfect. 
Jim had been saying the whole time it was good to zero, so. Zero or minus 15, I thought. Yeah. He thought minus 15. Yeah. That's, it's really only a 30 degree difference, mm -hmm. you know. It's gonna be great. Yeah. I gonna heat see. up some rocks on those stoves, yep. tuck them in. Classic. It'd be real nice. Classic. Winding down. Winding down. Pretty good day. Really good day. You know, we've kept it uh, <laughs> kept it around 30 degrees in this little hut. We got a nice little warming hut it's action. Not bad. This yeah. warming hut is amazing. The, yeah. the Black Mountain Nordic Club knows what they're doing. They seem to. This is some well stocked. They got some provisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In some fire starters. Wood, you mean? In wood, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Provisions yeah. of wood. That's a that's a like an eighties hairband. <laughs> provisions of wood. Provisions of wood. Well, it's uh it's all come down to Survival time, really. Pretty much. Um, now we have to step away from the fire, yeah, which the, is going to be a different that's gonna story. That's going to be tough. Yeah. You know, the snow has started. It has snowed a little yep. bit. Not the uh, insane snowstorm that we've been expecting. So yep. that's good. That's a, that's a bit of a bonus. Yeah. We didn't need the, the degree of difficulty crank that high just yet. <laughs> Correct. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see what it's all about. We've got really nice sleeping. Well, I have a really nice sleeping bag. You are we, prepared. You have, have whatever you... A bunch of old stuff that hasn't seen a light of day for three years. <laughs> I think your sleeping bag has gotten thinner <laughs> since you pulled it out somehow. But it should be pretty amazing. You know, I've yep. never done something this extreme in the Bighorns. Same. It, uh, it's really wild. We're the only people out here. We saw three people uh -huh. today, and that's it. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I bet you 99, with 99% surety that there are nobody else doing this on the mountain right now. I'd say so. I don't know when, what that says. When we had the fire outside, I mean, couldn't hear anything. So does it make us brave? I like to use say brave instead of foolish. I mean, yeah. the word heroic is thrown around all too often, but I think in, I'm this, okay with it. in this case it fits. Yeah, yeah I'm okay with it. We're, we're heroes. Had our journey in just under two miles, pretty, pretty, pretty smooth sailing. Pretty smooth, almost two hours. Yeah, hour almost two, yeah. Hour and a half yep. on the snowshoes. But yep. to be fair, we did go a little bit off trail into some a little bit. four foot Venture down to the drifts. lake. Yeah, on yeah. the lake, that was pretty cool. Yeah. There was a lot of snow in the lake. There was a lot of snow. So, ton of snow yeah um but here we go so we're gonna uh take care of these fires safety yep. first of yep. course yep get these down make sure these are out before anybody um heads off to bed and yep we're gonna see if we can make it and then hunker in and see how the night goes if anybody does find this camera um <laughs> tell my wife i love her <laughs> and uh don't mess with my truck <laughs> <laughs> all right all right man well good let's night. Get, these, good get these down hopefully see you in the morning you've been wearing those extra gloves this whole time yeah, we're we're in the big horns. Well, here I am. I am uh, in the tent. I haven't really got very far. I have uh, not even got my boots off because I'm afraid to uh, see how cold my feet actually are. But um, pretty amazing. I'm in the tent, getting ready for our first night um, winter camping in the big horns. Pretty amazing day actually a really amazing day in fact you know um snowshoeing in getting to the hut seeing how cool this is really think the forest service and the black mountain club do an amazing job with this place it's it's tip top trails are in great shape and uh the hut's pretty amazing so we're gonna see if uh if it was all for not <laughs> we can last the night or if we have to go into the hut and start a fire again or if we've got to hightail it out to the truck so uh, nervous, excited, but uh, hoping for the best. Well, it's uh, 7 a.m. Made it through the night. Pretty cold. Um, 
Gonna head back into the warming hut. Get that fire started and see if I can uh, feel my feet again. So, here's to that. Here we go. We'll just be conscious of sound. It's pretty quiet out. Well, all good things come to an end. Unfortunately. Count them. Ten fingers, ten toes. I got this many. I think I'm about nine and a half toes. I think that, that one of the babies is gone for sure. A little off balance today yeah. with the loss of the big one. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's coming down again. Look out there. Yeah, we're about to get out of here. I'm gonna get geared up. Anybody sees this? I hope they saw that we left this place better than we found it because it's awesome. Yeah. Love it. See it again. Definitely want to come back and do a moonlight ski. That sounds really cool. Probably won't spend the night. Not that night. Not that night. Yeah. Away we go. Sure did. Society, civilization, sanctuary, three C's of survival, my friend. Those are them. It's uh, pretty awesome. That was two miles in one hour. Yeah. Four miles round trip. Not bad four mile round trip. Not bad at all. Seemed a lot easier on the way back. Uh, yeah, smoother. We knew where we were going. We knew what we were doing. Maybe that's why. Se seasoned vets now, so Very we're good to go. Very quiet. Um, but all in all, a great time. We missed yeah. 30 inches of snow. We got about eight. Got so lucky eight. there. Not very lucky. Got lucky there. Decent, decent overnight. There's one thing left to do though. Grab some beers. Grab some beers. Yeah. Recap time, my friends. Let's do it. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Meatballs for the meatballs. Meatballs, good, uh, good round one. It's a, it's a great meal for anybody crazy enough to try winter backpacking. Yes, yes. Big ones, and but. it's a delight to see after several packaged freeze dried, freeze dried meals. You know, it looks <laughs> better than freeze dried meatballs. Yes, it does. Significantly. Yes, it does. What, uh, um, what was your favorite part? Oh, that's a good question. You know, I think honestly getting up this morning and just listening to how quiet it was. Yeah. And knowing that I was alive. Sure. That we had survived sure. the night. Um, that, that was pretty remarkable. Sure. It was cool. Uh, you? I think coming to that warming hut, just because did not expect the sweet shelter stocked with wood, ready for people to just take a break from their trek, snowshoe, cross country ski, whatever it was. Very welcoming. It's a good point. Awesome space. Yeah. It's really and good point. it kind of saved our lives. So. It kind of did. You know, <laughs> we were thinking about it early in the conceptual phase of this trip. We were just going to pick a random spot and backpack to it. Okay, sure. But then the idea that you would hike all day, be pretty cold, and then have no wood, have no fire, yep. have really no Do it all on our own. Pitch a tent, make a fire maybe if, you've, <laughs> you know, if you're hardy enough to chop a tree down. Sure. And, and then just go in your tent. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. No, uh, you know the warming hut was super cool. <laughs> Having a destination to get to was amazing. Yep. Yeah. So yep, any, I agree that worked. Anybody who's looking for like a real <clears throat> legit adventure, I mean, fill your boots if you want to go try the backpacking. Power, and power to you. But getting to the hut yep. was amazing. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. And that's going to be a good. That's going to be a good kind of hunker down, relaxed spot. Excellent. Winter time or summertime, fall, whenever, any season. Yeah, exactly. That's going to be a welcome kind of reward at the end of that two miles. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, it was pretty hard for us to haul in with all the gear sure. on the snowshoes. Sure. But if you're just in there snowshoeing or, or zipping around for the day, mm -hmm. get to that hut, um, like we saw a couple of people doing. Yep. Just stop off middle of the day and, and head back out. It's pretty cool. Yep. Yep. It was great. Uh, any, any regrets? I have regrets. one. Regrets. My boots. Your boots. My no. boots are the biggest boots. regret. Yep. Not the right boots. <laughs> they were cold. Everything else about me was perfectly warm. Uh -huh. My hands were good. My head, the rest of me. My, my sleeping bag. Sometimes I was too hot. <laughs> sleeping bag was great. But what about you? Tell me, tell me more about how hot you were I in uh, the middle of the night in negative, negative weather. Rated for minus 25. Mm. So mm. with that and my thermal, that was good. Yeah. We got some food coming. This is yeah, awesome. Let's, let's right. dig in here. Bring it yeah. in. That's fine. Come on in. Right there. That's right here. 
Thank you. Uh, this one is medium. So medium right here and here. Thank you. Thank you. Right here. Right yep. there. Right. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks, guys. And this is what we get to come back to. This is yeah. amazing. This is really totally makes it totally down worth for this. The, and the hike. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah my, my one regret was not having proper gear. <laughs> As, you, had, you were warm for hiking, you, like winter hiking. I was Your fine for hiking. Good, yeah. Clothing, clothing apparel wise, fine. good. But sleeping. Sleeping bag, no go. Yeah. Sleeping pad. Sleeping terrible. on the snow for like 12 hours. That didn't work. Not Your great. tent, I think, was fine. Tone was, was okay. Yeah, yeah. Tone was okay. It was big. We all could have fit in there. Yeah, easily. <laughs> Maybe we all should have. We all should have. I would have been a lot warmer. But uh, no, I mean, cheers to an amazing adventure. Yeah, We're, absolutely. We're uh, warming up with some local craft ales here. Yep. We've got some Smith Alley, Luminous, and Luminous, yep. on the go. Um, we're going to tuck into these remarkable burgers here yep. at Welcome Market Hall. These yeah. look phenomenal. This looks fantastic. Like, I don't even know if I deserve this. I didn't work that hard. I think we deserve it. Looks good. You didn't? Yeah. Okay. If you we, think so. I burned a lot of calories shivering all night, so <laughs> I, need, I need this. I did too sweating. <laughs> yeah. I sweat. you, you burn more sweating than shivering. <laughs> do you? So, do you? Yeah, for sure. It's a glands thing. Uh -huh. um, well, that's it. That's all I got. I mean, yeah. this, this, this is, is a trip that anybody can do, honestly. Success. Absolutely. We succeeded. Absolutely. Anyone else could do a bunch it. A bunch of newbies to the winter backpacking, yeah. campaign you know side of things. Doing. Yeah. We took too much stuff that anybody didn't can do it. help, not enough stuff yeah. that did, and we were fine. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody so, can do it. One more cheers to that. One more cheers to that. Sign enough. Cheers. Second in. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.